welcome to Home Designs by Amanda. Today I want to um, do our Facebook Live. I'll show you that back in a minute here. Um, just making sure that everything's kind of all lined up. It looks like it is. Um, so I hope that you're um, here ready to craft. I have a couple of little projects for us to, to do using some of the components from this month's Paper Pumpkin, which I really, really like. Um, it is a it is a nautical kind of a theme. I have a few things that I want to show you that I did with it because there was a couple of, of elements that were like like this one here. I like the little lighthouse, but it just seemed kind of plain. So I took um, another stamp set I already have and I um, embellished it a little to make it look a little more weathered. But we'll do that here in a few minutes. I just wanted to show you that this month's paper pumpkin was quite a few little cards. So I took the little cards and made bigger things. I have an alternative one on my um, YouTube channel, and I'm going to go ahead and probably repost this video onto the YouTube channel as well. So since we're going to be doing that, I want to go ahead and welcome all my new subscribers, because I've had quite a few in the last couple of days. I'd like to say welcome, and I hope you enjoy um, the videos. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to do a paper pumpkin layout for a 12 this is a 12 by 12 memories more sheet I am planning on doing this this year for my girls portfolios because we do homeschool and I wanted I just thought well it'd be fun to probably get started on them because <laughs> it's gonna take a little bit more time than normal to just put it together but it is kinda like their scrapbook as well for them to have later in um, when they grow up, you know, that kind of thing, because that's where there's at least a bunch of pictures for them. So this year I wanted to do even more um, of better pictures, because usually I just print them off on my printer and they're not the best. Well, this year I wanted to go ahead and get them um, printed off. Alright, and I'm going to see if anybody's joining me here. I'm seeing if it's coming up on my tablet real quick, and what kind of connection we've got going right now. It looks like it's not too bad. Okay. And then, um, so what I did was I went ahead and put a few things in. We're going to do a few things together. This one I already had done. It was the front of a swap that I made for on stage. And so I just had an extra one sitting over here and the, the Calypso coral type color. I think that is the color here. Yeah, the Calypso Coral matched this um, this month's set. So I cut off the the cards that come in the set are when you fold them in half are three by three cards. So I just cut one in half and I use that as background there. And one of these hearts is from I believe the January paper pumpkin kit. I know it's from a paper pumpkin kit because otherwise I don't have any vellum. Um, and I just put those on there and this over it because I, that was already there. And the Adventure Awaits did come from this month's stamp set. So I added that this morning, or this afternoon, whenever I did this. Um, so I added that and put that on there. So that's, I believe that's like a dapper denim color. So it was pretty close to the Island Indigo that was in this set. So I figure with the coloring it's pretty good. This, these two pictures were taken um, on a day that we just went for a short bike ride um, in the cornfield across the road. And um, then this one was on my husband's birthday. We, he got um, a little paddle boat and we had taken it out for the, for the afternoon. And so I thought that was a really cute picture of the three of them. And that would be the closest thing that I had right now for pictures to go with a nautical theme. <laughs> Um, and then that's also why I kind of added this too because it has like a, a watery kind of thing to it. So what I want to show you is a couple of things that I'm going to add to embellish these and where I'll probably put in some writing. I'm not going to do any journaling on here today, um, just where I'm going to leave space to do journaling. So the first one I want to do is, um, I think we'll do this one. I'm going to probably put... They are a tad snug, but that's probably good because then we know they won't slide out. So I'm going to get the, the, the sheet out of the way here for a moment. 
and um, I'm going to take the anchor and it's going to go on this one near the little hearts and they have um, twine. The twine that comes in this particular um, paper pumpkin is a little bit thicker. I don't want to put that in um, a scrapbook setting because it is thicker, especially since I have thinner stuff. So I think I'm going to use the thinner brown that I have. I believe that's from another paper pumpkin last month. I'm pretty sure that was last month's. Um, it's a slightly lighter in color, but not by much, but it is definitely thinner. I also have another thinner white one from a different paper pumpkin month. <laughs> Um, that you could use, and then I have this this peachy coral color. I don't remember the name of it right at the moment. Grapefruit Grove, I think it is. It's one of the new colors coming out here pretty soon, and it sort of matches the clips of coral of this. That would look really cute too, but it's getting back to where it's a little too thick for in um, in my and more project. So. I'm going to put that aside. I'm going to use that on the card we're going to make here in a little bit. So instead, I'm going to go ahead and keep with the thin stuff um, just because I think that that will help with when you're stacking up papers and things like that um, in, a memory, in a memory system. So I'm going to make sure I cut enough. But not too much. I don't need to waste it. <laughs> Okay, and then what I do for this is instead of like knotting it, which would make take up more room, I run it through doubled like this and grab the end that's looped and pull it through. And I did this on the other video as well. But that may that'll make it a little easier and flatter for in in there. And then we'll just kind of loop that up the side there. I'm going to put the, put this stuff down with some glue dots, which I'm almost out of on this roll, but I do have more rolls, so we will um, use these four and then get out a new roll at some point. Okay, I have my piercing tool somewhere, right? <laughs> so here it is. I like this for grabbing these off of the off of the um, paper there. And um, putting those on there. So we're going to do one more up here for the um, Oh, I forgot to turn the light on. I was going to turn the light on on my... On here. Let me check and see, because that might help it be a little bit brighter for you to see. I was going to turn... There, that might be a little bit helpful. I wanted to turn that, that um, light on, because the other light's off a little bit, because when we have the memories and more paper, it's kind of it's kind of glarish. Um, and with that light on, it's not quite so bad. So, I'll put this one up here. I'm going to double it over so that it doesn't stick to other things and we get it mostly covered with the twine. And I kind of rolled it into it there as well so it doesn't stick on other things. And then I'm going to just trim that off. And that leaves me a little bit, it gives it a little bit of decoration, but it leaves me room to journal a little bit about Liz and what I want to put on on her, her sheet here, maybe about what we were doing or things like that, or that this was um, Daddy's birthday or something like that. This one I don't have anything... Um, plan for just yet so it might work well to leave and put just a plain piece of paper on and journal if I need that much space if not I might be able to put another picture there if I find one that I want to put in here but with this one I was going to take the one of the circle pieces that came in the in the kit and one of the lighthouses 
and um, put it over top of it like that and then I can journal a little bit in there. So we're going to do that because I'm going to show you what I did with the lighthouse to make it not quite so, not quite so plain. It seemed pretty plain to me or I guess maybe like two dimensional and I wanted to put in a little bit of shadow to it. And I got away from Danielle. Hello, I'm glad you're here. And I'm using my lighthouse from the High Tide set. It is slightly bigger than this lighthouse, so it will go out around the outside. And I'm going to even stamp it off once. And um, put that down. And so it gives it a little bit more of a weathered look and not quite so flat. So I liked that, and I can even do a little bit of tapping over on this side so that we get a little extra and not quite such straight lines. But I like that better than the flat white and and coral that they, that they came as. So then we can take and put that and our circle on our on our piece of paper. And this is another piece of the the card that came they came this way and I just cut it at the four inches that you need for in the memories of more um oh yeah I can't think of what it's called right now. The sheets, the sheet protectors, that's it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these down where my there's my thing. <laughs> I like these little blue dots, especially for putting on things like the um, like the twine and things like that because then they're kind of sticky. They're kind of like mini little pieces of hot glue, only you don't burn yourself on them. I've <laughs> done that a good many times with hot glue. Um, and then they they um, are nice and sticky. They hold things together well. Alright, I am almost done with this. Oh, I have one stuck in my finger. Get that off. And you don't need a, a whole lot of them either, so that's another nice thing. And so there's that part for some um, journaling as well. Down here, I left it open, and I have a piece of white cardstock cut out, and it, it's 4x6 to fit right in there. They have memories and more kits, um, but none of them, I don't think any of them go that I have go with this, so we're just going to um, make our own little 4x6 down here, and I want to do it where I stamp some of it. So I'm going to stamp it to go along with this this kind of theme that we have going. And since this was a bike ride that we were on, I'm going to add in a bike. However, this one is a Heroes Art, Hero Arts stamp because I don't have a bike stamp set because I got that before I got into a whole lot of... I had gotten into stamping up a little bit, but not completely where I had mostly stamping up stamps at the time. Um, so I'm going to use this bike, and the waterfront as well as the high tide stamp sets to do this scene. So we're going to kind of build a scene together, and I'm trying to figure out which one I want to do, which part I want to do first. Let's do, I like to use this one for the sky, it's from the waterfront set. I guess most of my waterfront set's in here. So this is like a nice one for the sky, and then this is a nice one here for water, and then this one's from the high tide, and that one's a nice one for sand. And so we're kind of going to do a sand like look. What do I do? And we're going to use Sahara sand. See, <laughs> that's the right color for sand, right? <laughs> So we'll go ahead and 
I do want it a little bit lighter because what I was also thinking that if I, I'm not a big writer, so I don't know that I'll need this much space, but if I wanted to journal on it, I wanted it light enough that it would seem more like a background for the journaling rather than it just being a picture made in the, in there. So I'm going to do, I'm going to do a stamp off for each thing before I actually stamp it onto my, um, cardstock here. And that seems pretty good for that part. And then I'm going to put in the water, which I'm going to use Tempting Turquoise. That is a color that is going to be retiring. So if you like that color, you're going to want to get it soon before it, um, before it retires or runs out. Because they, um, they won't be getting any more of it in. So we're going to put some water over here and maybe a sailboat on it because they have the cutest little sailboat in this stamp set. And I also have another set of sailboats coming in my new, um, in a new stamp set that should be here early next week that will be in the new annual catalog. It's called the, um, lily pad something. I don't remember the exact name for that set right at the moment. So we'll do that. I'm going to add in, now that I know where my water was, I'm going to add in a little bit more sand over here. I liked it like that. And just up a little bit more. And then I'm going to add in my my bike. Well, no, actually, I think I did the background first because I did some of these. I don't want to show um, what I did that this is going off of because that would give it away to some people that will be coming to our ladies' luncheon next Saturday. <laughs> so I don't want to show stuff that I've um, done with some other things, but um, this is a sim. It's going to look similar to this for at least one of them. I gotta get some of this darker blue off because I'm gonna use soft sky for this. This is also another retiring color that um, if you like it and you want to get some, you better get it now because <laughs> it will be going it will be going away. I like soft sky; it's a nice color, but pool party is similar, only a little bit darker. I'm going an angle. I'm not sure how dark this is. Yeah, it's dark. So we definitely wanted to stamp that off. And I'm just kind of randomly stamping. It's a watercolor kind of look stamp set. So it does it gives you a gradient kind of look as you're stamping with it. So you do, it doesn't really matter how much you like stamp over top of itself. It still looks um, watercolor. <laughs> and you don't get as many lines, like sharp lines, if you're stamping off first. And trying not to rock it. <laughs> I almost rocked it there on the one, and I did get a bit more of a line than necessarily. Okay. So, there's that part. And then I am putting a lighthouse in here, and I have one already done from earlier that I didn't end up using for something else. So I think I'm going to go ahead and use this one. And I think I might put it up a little bit higher than I had put it on the other one, <laughs> on the other thing. And, um... Sorry, my phone buzzed and I wanted to make sure that I was still recording here. Um, yes, and I see that, Daniel, yes. I've heard that about the Tempting Turquoise. It's been around for a very long time. Not anymore. <laughs> There's some cool new colors coming, though. They're bringing back Coastal Cabana as well. I don't know if you'd heard of that one before or not. 
Um, where was I? Oh, the, the bike is going to go here next. So I'm going to do that in Smoky Slate. And they have another gray coming out called um, Gray Granite, I believe. This I think I'm going to leave at full strength, just not push as hard. And I'm going to have part of the back wheel kind of coming off of my paper. Like that. That's exactly what I wanted. <laughs> Amazing, because that doesn't always happen. <laughs> and then we're going to put in some some grass. I have that. That comes from the High Tide stamp set. Let me find it here. So this is my high tide, and these are what the grass are supposed to look like. I got around and actually cut them in half last night. I'm thinking, I don't need both of them together all the time. And so I cut them in half. And that's what I that's what I should have done a long time ago. And then there's a third one there, or a second one there. So we can use all that to put in some grass. Um, and I think I'm going to go ahead and use... I've used mint macaron because, you know, that's like my hair color and it's coming back. I'm so excited. But I don't know what I did with it. Oh, there it is. Okay. I don't have a full stamp uh, or a full ink pad of it yet. I will be getting one of those, I'm sure. But for now, I have a little spot. So I'm going to... This I left full strength as well because mint macaron can tend to be a little bit on the lighter side at times. But I just re-inked it last night too, so that's helpful to make the grass a little bit darker and we'll just fill in there with grass around it a little bit and then over here I want some grass to be waving in the breeze right and um I used the littler set for over towards the back tire. Or, yeah, over here by the back tire a little bit. Just a couple of stamps there. Okay. Alright, so even if I put in the lighthouse, there's still room there for me to write on it if I decide I want to. If not, it gives me room to put in, like, maybe just a little cute little banner. Maybe with just her name, even, on there. So, I'm going to put that in, and I am going to go ahead, even though I'm putting it in a Memories and More sleeve, I'm going to pop up the It on Dimensionals anyway, just because I think that just makes it look really neat with the lighthouse kind of coming off the page. But I gotta find my dimension. That's not the set I wanted. Alright. I totally forgot to have my my adhesives ready to go. You know, I was just like I got everything else ready and I was all ready. I was even like, ooh, maybe we could start early. <laughs> but I didn't. I'll just start a new pack here. Okay. And these are the full size ones. The um, mini ones work well with the smaller lighthouse. And since it's going to be in a Memories and More sleeve, I probably don't need any more than than what I have on here already. Okay. I'm going to put that right up here, and the last thing for this is going to be the sailboat. So I'm going to take the little sailboat, and I think since I have, because it's really cute and a color, let me make sure I have all that blue that's a stain. Oh, it isn't stained. Yeah, because I don't want to mix that with my Calypso Coral. So since I have a little bit of Calypso Coral here and there on Liz's um, layout, I want to go ahead and use that for this little this little sailboat. I think that would just be really cute. So I got my stamp all cleaned off because I'm really bad about not cleaning them off right away. 
Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> I should clean them off better, but they have a new thing coming out through Stampin' Up! that I guess that they've been out other places, but I've, ne I've not had the the use of them or seen them, so I didn't know about them really. But this is like a, it's like a chamois kind of a thing, only it's thick. It's like about that thick, and it's the size to fit in one of these. And you get it a little bit damp, and you wipe your stamps on that. I'm like thinking, oh, that's going to be so cool. So I can't wait to get one of those, and then I'm going to put it in probably one of these, because they made it like this to make it easily to travel with you and things like that. So it'll sit in there, and you can just wipe it off. On, um, on this little, um, I don't even remember what it's called right now. It's in the catalog, but I'm not going to turn around and get that out yet. Um, it's like a stamp chamois kind of a thing, only, um, I have a thing that has a different name for it, and it's like thick. It's interesting. Alright, so that's, that's that for now. And this is going to be what our page looks like. So there's our page for Liz's, um, one page in Liz's, um, portfolio. Okay. I took a sip of my coffee. It's getting a little chilly, so I'll have to warm it up when we're done. But that's okay. I needed a little something to drink there. Um, I do have a card for us to do. It shouldn't take as long as that did, I hope. <laughs> and, um... So there's that. I hope you like that. I like how it turned out. My light has a little crooked, but that's okay. Um, Alright, so let's move on to the card. So for the card, I have a piece of my favorite mint macaron. I had some left um, from last year when it was, it was an in color that had retired last year, and it's coming back with the color revamp this year, so that's pretty cool. So I took, so that's the only thing that's in this that, um, didn't come from the set, except for the twine. I'm using this because I wanted to add a little bit of the corally color to this, but it can definitely be replaced with the twine that did come in this kit. Um, and then I'm going to use a stamp from the, um, a sentiment from the High Tide stamp set. So we're going to just take a few things from the, the paper pumpkin kit and put this card together. So I took one of the envelopes and ripped it apart. So I took one of the you know, Island Indigo and ripped it apart and then cut it down so it was evenly. So you could technically use this side if you wanted to, but there is the glue here from where you would lick it and seal it. But I kind of like the idea of doing it this way. So you had a little bit of pattern here, but then you had mostly a, a clean background behind it. Because I have all these other things that I want to go ahead and put onto it. So let me put that down here real quick. Let me find my tear and tape. I have it right here. And I'm in the habit, this is very terrible. So if you want to just use it and tear it, you can, but I'm in the habit of cutting it anyway. I think I just like clean edges. <laughs> I have issues. <laughs> so I think what would look really neat, I'm not planning on doing it, but I have some washi. It's not Stampin' Up! washi. I think I got it at Joann's. But it's this cute wave. That would also look kind of cute across the bottom here. But I'm not going to do that today. I just thought of it. And I already had this one planned out in my head, so um, we're going to just put this one together real quick here. And it is over a little bit because we're going to put some of this stuff on this side over here. So try to lay that out there. I'm going to take, um, I'm trying to remember my order here. So I want this one here. Where's... So this is a piece of the the card stock that comes to be one of your cards, so you would fold this one in half. And I just trimmed it down so it was just above the waves and just below the hearts, because I wanted to leave the hearts in to give us a little bit of coral coloring. Mm. 
then I'm gonna smooth through that. The um the adhering down is probably the part that takes the longest and is the most boring, right? <laughs> So we're going to put this about right here, and then I have this for over here. So I tried to make it so it was evenly across those, but it looks like I'm slightly off, so I'm going to just go up a little with it, because that looks a little bit better down there. But I also have this I want to put here because I want to put the sediment on it, but I'm going to tuck this under here. So we have quite a few layers going, and it, it's an, it fits in there nicely with missing the hearts, but we could actually move it over a little, because it's going to cover, and then we'll have about the same amount on either side of the envelope. So I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to lay it down right like that, but I think what we'll do is stamp our sentiment first, because then that way if we mess up, we can grab a different circle. <laughs> Um, because there's plenty of extra of the circles in the, in the kit today, or this month. Um, but I'm trying to find a block that this, this one. I have stamps on all my blocks, so I was trying to find one that is easy to grab. Okay. Um, Calypso Coral is going to be our color, wherever I put it, there it is. And yes, this this is very stained, but it was clean because I went and I went and actually washed this one to make sure it was sticking to my block because it was kind of dirty. So I'm gonna line this up off to the side because of how we're layering it on the card. Push pretty hard, and there we go. So my lips, my my lips, oh my cliffs of coral seems a little light today. That's okay. It seems to be going well with the, the hearts there. I'm going to put that one down. Let me double check where I want it. Okay, right there looks good. I'm going to try and leave that there and stick the glue dots under it so that I don't move it around too much. But now I've got to find where I set my glue dots. There they are. Right behind me. Okay. Okay, so I got one behind there, so that'll keep it in place as I put the other ones on. And I'll try not to bend it too much. Either. Just kind of. And then I don't necessarily need to do the other side because that's going to be under something else that I'm going to go ahead. And even before I start working on it, I'm going to put it on. There we go. And then we're just going to put the anchor on on top of that. I just looked up and I saw a comment. Thank you for coming to, to join us, Kara. And I like the sign too. Alright, so we're all lined up there. And then I'm going to put the anchor on on here like this. And we're going to use the coral. I'm going to do the same thing that I've been doing all along with my knot. And um, just put that right on there. And we can tuck that up, up that way with some glue dots. And we're almost done. And I thought that this one was cute on the outside for the Every little kindness makes the world brighter, and then it could be like a thank you sentiment on the inside for maybe something somebody did for you or or things like that. Um, and then just put a couple, put one right there. They are very sticky. See, <laughs> I was sticking my finger and not the. Stuck my finger. Let's get another one. Okay. I'm going 
try this again without a sticking my finger. I hope. There we go. Okay. And then I'm going to just bring this around over here. I think I'm going to put the glue dot up here and then tuck those into it. Just like we did for the, the Memories and More page. Like that. And then they can kind of just go up there. So there's our, our little card made with parts from the paper pumpkin kit. And then just all we needed extra was a piece of cardstock to put it on, and then I just switched out the the color of the the twine. So um, I hope you enjoyed today's today's um, Facebook Live. I had more comments than normal. Thank you um, for for joining me, and um, I will be posting this on my face or on my YouTube channel as well, um, and. I guess we'll we'll see each other again later. Um, probably in two weeks. I don't know that I'll do one next week. Um, and thanks for joining me today. Have a great afternoon.